right you guys first we're gonna start off with some masking tape you want to get it and kind of tear it apart and all I'm doing is just adding it in horizontal pieces over my nose you want to leave a little space under your nose so you can still breathe but still just try to get it right over your nose Next, I'm going in with some liquid latex. I found this at my local Walmart. And you're also gonna need either Kleenex or tissue. All I'm doing is just taking a little bit of the latex around the tape. And then adding the tissue right over the latex. What this is doing, this is building texture over the tape. And to seal it, all I'm doing is taking a little bit more of the latex right over the tissue. So this next step is just a repeat of what I did on my nose. You're starting off with the tape and then going over with the tissue to add texture. So this part may get a little tricky. You still want to leave a little slot so you can see what you're doing, uh, but then again, nothing major here you're just adding tape over the face and you're doing it all the way across So as you're adding the tissue over your mouth, don't be alarmed because you're actually going to cut out an opening slot so you can have the actual smile with this look. Alright, so you guys, so you want to be really careful with this step. You're just cutting out the slit for your smile. Now you're just going in with any brand of foundation you prefer. Um, the point of the foundation is to get the tape and the tissue to mimic your skin. Uh, you don't want this step to be completely perfect because the point of this makeup look is to be imperfect. These steps are totally optional. Um, I wanted to add a little bit more texture to my face, so I just went back over with more latex and more tissue, but you totally could skip this step. guys I'm gonna be honest this look was so hard to do because I had such a hard time actually seeing what I was doing so <laughs> Now I'm just going in with this color wheel from Ben Nye. This one is the Burn and Bruises wheel. Um, and I'm just creating my slit. I absolutely love, 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 love this color wheel. I'm also going to go in with a shiny paint for a little bit of detailing. So now you're just drawing vertical slots around your eyes. Uh, be really, really careful with this step because you don't want to get any paint in your eyes, being that it's really difficult to do this without opening your eyes really well because you have to see what you're doing. Again, adding definition to this look really makes the look stand out, so just take your time and add as many bruises and burns as you can. Next is the fun part. I'm actually using a dropper to add blood to the slits around my mouth. I had so much fun doing this, you guys. Oh my god. So you want to add even more texture to the skin. So I'm using this Ben Nye powder and literally almost contouring my entire face. So I want my skin to look weathered and 
tired and old, so you just want to add as much definition as you possibly can. And of course, the more bloody, the better. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a happy Halloween.